All right, guys. Like we were saying, guys, I told you that the, the, the muscular part of this muscular cutaneous nerve, it innervates the BBC, right? The BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, which means the what? It innervates the what? The, 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 the brachialis muscles, the what? The bicep brachialis muscles, and the coracle brachialis muscles, guys. Yeah, but you may ask yourself, guys, what about the cutaneous part? Since we call it the muscular cutaneous nerve, it means it's both a muscular and a cutaneous one nerve at the same time. Okay, now take it easy, guys. Calm down. We're gonna explain that right away. Now, the cutaneous part of this nerve is called the cutaneous part, of course. Cutaneous part, which means that what it innervates what the skin. It gives what sensory innovation, guys. Yeah, exactly. All right, but what? What, what part of the forearm does it give a sensory innervation to, guys? This cutaneous part of this muscular cutaneous nerve, it gives sensory innervation to the lateral part of the forearm, guys. The lateral part, guys. All right. And therefore, since it gives innervation to the lateral part of the forearm, what do we call it, guys? We call it the, 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 the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. Easy, guys. Call it what? Lateral... Cutaneous, right? Nerve, because it's a nerve of the what? The forearm. Easy. And this nerve, what it does, it uh, what? This nerve, it it uh, it passes what beneath the, what the lateral margin of the bicep brachial, of the bicep what? Bicep what? Brachial. It passes beneath the lateral margin, guys. Beneath the lateral, that's under the lateral what, margin of these muscles. You understand what I'm saying? So if you go into a body and you're looking for this nerve, what you do is simply look at the, you should first identify the, the bicep brachial and then look at the lateral margin of the bicep brachial. Trust me, you're gonna see the what, the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm, guys. All right. And then when it when it, when it passes when, when it passes what to, uh, when it passes under the lateral margin of the what bicep brachy, where does it go? It goes to the what the lateral surface of the forearm. Yeah, exactly. All right. The next nerve that is a uh, very important constituent of the, what the infraclavicular part of the brachial plexus, guys, is what I know. Medical students hate questions. Well, guess what? That's why I'm here to answer them. The next nerve is what is called what the what the uh, the the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. Now that's something I want to point out here. It's really serious. Okay, before we discuss this guy over here. We were meant to understand that what the muscular cutaneous nerve it gives the what the cutaneous what innervation of the lateral part of the forearm. It means this guy. It means the what the the, 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 the the cutaneous innervation of the lateral part of the forearm is not an independent nerve, guys. It's very important that you know that. But on the contrary, the the the, the cutaneous innervation. Of the what the medial part of the forearm is what is an independent nerve which comes from what the medial cord guys remember the medial cord that makes up what the infraclavicular part of the brachial plexus the medial cord gives the what the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm so therefore this brother here this nerve it goes to what medial so phrase guys of the full arm yeah exactly and what does it do it gives the sensory innovation if i touch myself here right now man my knee my medial cutaneous nerve with the form is pretty working nicely because i can feel this sensation guys that's his job guys all right the next uh the next beautiful nerve we're gonna talk about is known as what it's known as what guys all right, 
it's not. It's called what? The, what? the medium cutaneous nerve of what? Of the arm. Of the arm, guys. This region, your brachial. You understand? This nerve also comes from what? The medium. This guy comes from what? The medial cord, right? Yeah, we said that already. The medial cord. And this brother here, this nerve also comes from what? The medial cord, guys. And if it comes from the medial cord, it, after branching from the, from the medial cord, it immediately what? Passes, pierces through the muscles and gets the what? To the cutaneous part of the arm. It doesn't just go to any part of the, uh, the cutaneous part of the arm. But where does it go, guys? It goes to the medial surface because that's where it innervates this region over here, guys. Can you see that? Yeah, like literally, can you see that? Exactly. Okay, guys, there are a couple of pretty important nerves that I, I, I call them like the, the principal nerve, man. I call them the principal nerve of the four of the, the whole arm and the forearm. Because what they are, they play a very important role in innovating what? Both the arm and the forearm. Guess what? These nerves are three in number, guys. They are very very important like seriously important and what are all these nerves now we're gonna go into them they are also part of what the infraclavicular part of the brachial plexus guys it's really important that you know that the first among them is what the median nerve guys we're gonna start with this guy the median nerve man trust me this guy is a nice guy but this guy is it's a very big guy, you know. So, this nerve, the median nerve, it has two origin, guys. Two origin. It has two what? Two origin. That's one thing you're supposed to know about this nerve. And the origin makes up what the root, right? Simply means it has what two root, of course. Origin, root, whatever, the same stuff. All right, it has two origin, or you can just say it has what two root. And this root, our we call them the medial root and what? The lateral root guys, exactly. And the lateral root. Alright. The medial root comes from what? Come from what? The medial cord. And the lateral root comes from what? The lateral cord guys. So when the median root, don't forget these are roots, these are roots, and these are codes, these are codes, you understand codes. So when the median roots and the lateral root they come together, they form what the median now guys. That means what? This brother over here, this beautiful nerve, has two roots, just like we said, the median and the lateral root, guys. Alright. When the median nerve is formed, guys. Uh, when the median nerve is formed, I want us to talk about what the topography of this nerve is very, very important. How it runs and does its stuff, how it does these things, guys. Okay, now, this guy over here, when it's formed from the two root, what happened? What happened is that well, this guy runs, we're going to discuss the, uh, the topography in relation to, to the different region of the arm. You know, we got the arm, we got the, what, the, the bracket, the, the arm and the forearm, right? And we got the hand. Yeah, what happened in this region? Uh, to this particular median nerve okay in the arm let's let's do it this way in the arm this guy over here it runs in the word medial bicipital groove exactly you know that groove exactly the medial bicipital what groove guys 